with a lot of genuine concern as well. It's all reaction to Governor James McGreevy's stunning announcements on Thursday afternoon. One has to look deeply into the mirror of one's soul and decide one's unique truth in the world. Not as we may want to see it or hope to see it, but as it is. And so my truth is that I am a gay American. And I am blessed to live in the greatest nation with the tradition of civil liberties, the greatest tradition of civil liberties in the world, and a country which provides so much to its people. Yet, because of the pain and suffering and anguish that I have caused to my beloved family, my parents, my wife, my friends, I would almost rather have this moment pass. For this is an intensely personal decision and not one typically for the public domain. Yet, it cannot and should not pass. I am also here today because shamefully, I engaged in an adult consensual affair with another man, which violates my bonds of matrimony. It was wrong, it was foolish, it was inexcusable. And for this, I ask the forgiveness and the grace of my wife. She has been extraordinary throughout this ordeal, and I am blessed by virtue of her love and strength. I realize the fact of this affair and my own sexuality, if kept secret, leaves me, and most importantly, the governor's office, vulnerable to rumors, false allegations, and threats of disclosure. So I am removing these threats by telling you directly about my sexuality. Let me be clear, I accept total and full responsibility for my actions. However, I am required to, to do now, to do what is right, to correct the consequences of my actions, and to be truthful to my loved ones, to my friends and my family, and also to myself. It makes little difference that as governor, I am gay. In fact, having the ability to truthfully set forth my identity might have enabled me to be more forthright in fulfilling and discharging my constitutional obligations. Given the circumstances surrounding the affair and its likely impact upon my family and my ability to govern, I have decided the right course of action is to resign. McGreevy will resign November 15th, Senate President Dick Cody 